Las Vegas, Nevada. The lights, the hotels, the food, the casinos, the seemingly endless nightlife, bars, nightclubs, shows, and a feeling that this city never rests. Say what you want about Vegas, but it is easy to spend a couple of days here, and there is really something for every traveler. However, it is also easy to fall into scams and lose money. But you don't have to. Join us as we cover the top scams in Las Vegas. You are excited. You have finally booked your trip to Vegas. Maybe the trip out wasn't what you wanted it to be. So all you want to do is get to your hotel room and regroup. So you take a cab from the airport to your hotel. And here's your first scam to be aware of. It's called long hauling and is used by taxi operators to prey on unsuspecting victims. They will take the long way around to get to a destination when instead they can go a more direct way and save you money. This is where ride sharing companies like Uber and Lyft have a leg up on cab companies. The route and price is displayed before you book. No surprises, no hidden or outrageous fees. When going from the airport, it's best to stick with Uber or Lyft. If you must take a taxi, never tell them it's your first time to Vegas. Just get in and say you'd like the fastest route possible, Swenson, and to avoid the tunnel. Next up are people trying to give away their music on CDs. The scam goes like this. The artist gives you a free CD, you take it, and then they start asking you for money. Or they distract you while someone else picks your pocket, which we'll get to in a minute. It's best to politely decline and move on your way. Like the CD scam, there's another free giveaway scam. There are numerous people dressed up on the Strip and Fremont Street as characters from movies or cartoons. The costumes are great and add a fun atmosphere to the vibrance of the city. However, most of these people also ask you for money after you get your picture taken with them. Again, it's best to avoid these people, especially the showgirls or male models, as their rates are usually the steepest, upwards of $50 per picture taken. Many places in Las Vegas still require cash, and it's convenient. But where the scam comes in is a lot of people are not used to carrying cash, and the hotels or casinos know this, so they place ATMs throughout the casino or floor to help you out. Trouble is, these cash machines charge a steep fee, some as high as $10 to extract cash. It's best to carry some with you and leave the rest in the hotel room safe. For those who are budget conscious, withdrawing your cash before the trip may help you stick to the budget while in Vegas. If you win a substantial portion from a slot or at a table, sometimes you will get a ticket to redeem either at the cashier's office or at a machine. Seems simple enough, right? Just put your ticket in and get your cash payout. Not so fast. What happens is that some casinos keep the change, as in if you have a winnings ticket for $30.56, the machine will only give you $30. Are you really going to walk to the cashier's office for $0.56? Cents? Probably not. To collect all of your winnings the first time, head to the actual cashier's office. While definitely not convenient, and they know this, they have to redeem your entire ticket. And how you carry your cash is very important too. Pickpocket schemes are very well coordinated, so much so that you won't even realize something has been taken until it's too late and the thieves are long gone. Keep your cash close to you, where you can feel if someone goes to grab it, like in a phone case with a pocket, and try to always be aware of your surroundings. Large crowds are perfect places to lose your stuff. Another scam that many, many people fall victim to is the hotel convenience fee. Sure. After a very long day of playing in Vegas, you want a bottle of water or a soft drink before you head up to your room for the night. However, products in these stores can be steep. You can pay as much as $10 for a bottle of water that would be a dollar or two somewhere else. Stick to the drugstores on or off the strip for snacks or conveniences. If you have any downtime on your first day, this would be a great short trip to plan, and then you'll have what you want for the rest of your trip already in your room. And when it comes to conveniences, people all over Vegas are there trying to help you have a great time. People give you tickets to shows, free dinners, and others. But some give you these for a very specific reason, and that is to rope you into a timeshare presentation. Sure, you can take their free stuff, go to the obligatory presentation, and go on your way. However, and this is a big however, some timeshare presentations can last upwards of five hours. I don't know about you, but I do not want to be stuck in some office or hotel ballroom for five hours on my vacation as someone tries to sum me an experience. Just not worth it. 
And a note about slot machines. Most are fine. You put your money in, watch it spin, and maybe win something. There are newer slot machines, though, that have themes from music or movies. These are the ones to avoid, since statistically, they pay out less often. Stick with the traditional slots, and you have a better chance of winning something back. Las Vegas is known for its nightlife, and the clubs on and in close proximity to the Strip have a reputation for a vibrant atmosphere. People line up and can wait hours to get into one. Club promoters know this and send workers out to promote the club and draw even more people in. However, sometimes these people try to ask for more. They may ask you to pay for the promotion, and this is just not true. Club promotions are free, so if you see someone trying to get you or someone else to pay for services to get them into a club, it's not real. It's a scam. If you are brave and choose to bring your own car or drive a rental around Vegas, be aware of parking scams. Rates change all the time and it is tricky to find which lots are actually free and which lots say they are free and actually are not. At many of the big name properties, parking is not free. One lot that is free and in a good location is Treasure Island. So you were at the end of your trip to Vegas and have had a great time. The food was great, the hotel was awesome, and you had a great time trying your hand in the casinos or other attractions in the city. Now it's time to head home. However, when you look at your hotel bill, you notice the infamous resort fee. Some would argue that this is a scam and some would not. Most hotel properties will tell you it goes to upkeep and pool maintenance and other general operating costs for a major property. This isn't always the case though. And the frustrating part is that there is really no way around these fees or a way to dispute them. Related to the resort fee is something relatively new, a concession and resort fee, which can add as much as 4.7% to restaurant bills. Try to avoid these restaurants in particular, which have been known to tack on the CRF. Beer Park, Hex, Rum Bar, and Cabo Wabo. And while we're on the subject of food, a great way a lot of hotels get you is to lure you into their food courts. You think you are saving money eating there instead of more formal sit-down restaurants, but many times you may not be. And again, it comes down to convenience. Hotels know you will spend more to not have to go further. Try a few of these places instead of the food courts. Slice of Vegas in the Mandalay Bay Place shops. Shake Shack between New York, New York and Park MGM. Ocean One Bar and Grill on the Miracle Mile and Tacos El Pastor. Just be aware of hotels in general and the fees they try to sneak onto your bill. One such fee is the early check-in fee. Depending on which property you stay at, if you check in before the actual advertised check-in time, the fees can be upwards of $75. You can leave your bags with the hotel, but this again can be an additional charge. Have a plan when arriving to Vegas on the earlier side. Known for its incredible array of attractions, casinos, restaurants, hotels, and oddities, there's something for everyone to do in Las Vegas. And with the wide variety comes a wide variety of ways you can pay more for something than you actually need to. Have a plan, do your research, and you'll probably have an even better time in this incredible destination. If you want to learn more about all the things to do in Las Vegas, check out our Las Vegas video on this channel.